welcome back to Ultimate Pad guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video you guys will be working on a BMW T series. So if you have a BMW T series from year 2005 to year 2013 and you need to remove or replace your windshield, cow, trim piece here guys, stay with us and we'll explain how to do that. You may need to remove that piece to replace windshield uh, wiper motor linkage. You may need to work on your engine because you will need to remove that. Okay, if you need to remove a valve cover gasket, uh, uh, PCD breather holes, quite a few things guys. So stay with us and we'll explain how to do that today. You should cover guys E90, which is the sedan. E91 is the uh, station wagon, E92 coupe and, e and E93 convertible. Now, quick introduction to the channel guys, every single car we get at the shop we make at least you can pre repair videos. Specifically guys, on this uh, generation BMW 3 series, we will probably have more than 400 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing that free information. Okay, this is it guys. This is a 2006 model that we will demonstrate on, but it should cover the whole generation. Doesn't matter which engine you have as well. This is the whole cow piece, trim piece that we will need to remove because we will actually be working, okay, we will be working on our engine here as well. We need to put a new valve cover, valve cover gasket as well. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So first thing that we're going to do guys, okay, we're going to go ahead and remove the cabin air filter. It's supposed to have eight screws, but our, uh, excuse me, four screws. Our has only two, okay, you have one screw here with eight millimeter socket, one here, but we have only one, one on the other side and one more there. In our case, somebody didn't install two of them, so we have only two out of four. So, okay, we're ready to almost pull the cabin air filter out. Sometimes you will have, uh, recently we clean ours, you have leaves and dust here, so you need to clean it, guys. We got that thing out. Okay, so let's see what else we need to do now. So, now we're going to remove, guys, the windshield wiper arms. You have a cover, okay, right there, rubber cover that you need to remove. Under that rubber cover, you have one there with a 10, oh, excuse me, with a 16 millimeter socket. I cannot talk today, guys, for some reason. Okay, one is out. Now we need to remove this one. There is a special tool, guys, that you can use to actually pull the windshield wiper arms easily. But you can do it without it and we'll show you how to do it without it because not all of you will have one. We'll have the link in the description of the video below guys, check it out. Grab the wiper arm and move it a little bit up and down, okay, and it comes out. Mark where they used to be guys because you need to install them at exactly the same position otherwise guys. Okay, what could happen, they will not align and they can malfunction, hit each other or not align on the windshield correctly and that could cause even more damage guys. So. Make sure that you mark, usually we use a tape, but we've done it so many times that we know where they need to be on ours, but usually what I do, I put a, a piece of tape on each wipe, a wiper, so I know, guys, where to install them later. So let us show you guys what else we need to do now. So we're going to start on the bottom piece now. Okay, these rubber things, put them to the side. Okay, like that. Okay, we have one right there as well. It should come loose that way. Okay, let's see what else we have here holding. Okay, we have a few clips here. Okay, one clip right there. Okay, perfect, I got it out. Now, one on the back. Okay, and that cover, guys, comes out. This cover, okay, here you have more um, on one side. I think you had the, the computers, the other one it was the fuses. So this one is out now, okay. Let's see what else we have on this side. Okay, we have one more on this side here, guys. So, right there, the same thing, that rubber thing we pull it out. We have one more on this side that we'll need to remove for later, so not to forget it. One clip here, one on the back. Okay, this one got stuck again. Okay, the other one side is the computers. This side, guys, is where your uh, uh, brake fluid is located okay and this is guys okay where the uh, pump okay this is the pump for the uh, ABS pump and the traction control module is located right here guys so now we're going to have uh, a few a few bolts that we need to remove this one I think it's a 10 millimeter socket let's check it out okay first first bolt is right here 
Okay, oh, eight. Oh, it's eight. I thought it was a 10, but it's an eight actually. So this is the board that we'll need to remove. It's holding that uh, piece right there. Later we'll need to disconnect the wire. So make sure you stay, stay with us until the end and we're going to explain all that guys so you don't cause any damage. It's a very good idea to watch the video until the end because you can avoid mistakes that we make and that can cost you guys quite a bit of money because uh, sometimes it does happen guys to screw something up. So be careful now this one is ready now we need to disconnect our sensor here this is for the uh, air quality temperature sensor guys so right here we're going to press in pull it out okay and get the wire out okay perfect just like that now let's see okay we need to disconnect okay right here we have the wires for the engine, the wiring harness, pull that one out. Okay, now let's see if we can pull that whole piece out of there, guys. Okay, hopefully we can. Okay, perfect. And you can see that piece came out with no problem. So, now guys, we need to, okay, pull that seal out. Okay, pull the whole seal out to separate the two pieces. We're going to set it on the side. Now, okay, we're practically loose on this side. We have something, okay, holding, I think, right there. Let's check it out. Let's see. Okay, here we need to come out. Okay, we came out here. And let's see what else we have holding. We need to disconnect the windshield washer fluid. Okay, from right here. Okay, we have the wiring harness somewhere as well. That's for the heater, uh, heating nozzles but i'm just trying to see because okay that hose okay goes right here i think we can actually get it out we'll see in a second we have another wire there holding in place okay and the only thing holding now i think is those okay those seals for the windshield wipers guys okay for the wiper arms so we can lift this thing up okay and we need to disconnect a few more wires okay perfect and now the only thing holding here we have guys is the windshield wiper uh, uh the windshield wiper guys fluid hose okay this hose right there we'll need to go ahead and remove that one so we're going to disconnect the windshield wiper hose guys from right here now just careful not to break it be extremely careful perfect now let's see guys if that cow piece okay will come out okay and you can see everything came out just like that so you can see guys this is the windshield uh, cow piece trim piece okay this is the lower one upper one that's where the windshield wipers are so that's how you guys remove all that now hopefully guys the video will be helpful you can see that way when you remove it you can get to multiple guys components in your vehicle by removing those you can get to uh, windshield uh, wiper linkage the windshield wiper motor is right there engine is wide open as well here so we can access all that i would recommend now is the time guys to clean all that okay get uh, get a vacuum get something clean it wipe it to be clean because otherwise okay your car will might start corroding around the windshield because it will it will keep moisture there but you can see that's how you guys do it installing it guys practically is in reverse order we took it apart if you guys have any specific questions let us know if you want to see any specific video again let us know guys that's how we get an idea for our videos thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time